I don't know what your problem is, but you need to figure it out. What is up, you guys? Karma here, and we are back with Pocket Mirror. Let's just dive right back in. See if we can beat Flood at some more games. All right, um, upsy daisy. All right, so we did cards already, so there's gotta be more up here. This way. This is my big library. It's where I keep all of my favorite tales. There's not a single boring book in the whole room. That's impressive, Flutta. I don't feel like reading right now. <laughs> I'll give you ten minutes to check some books if you want to. Thank you, Flutta. Okay. I guess look around. How to be a perfect princess by Princess Flutta. Uh... Nothing there. Oh. There once was a little missy who was well known for being quite prissy. All of her faithful butlers enjoyed serving her tea, obediently answering her every plea. Ruthless and powerful, the girl's last breaths were everything but colorful. Got what she deserved, embedded in aconite was her last dessert. Bestowed with such a cruel demise, said the missy, it is now God's duty to strip me of my disguise. Having disposed of their queen who had taken their voice, overwhelmed with freedom did her servants rejoice. It's hard to believe Fleta would write this kind of story. Damn, that's kind of dark. The Complete Biography of Queen Agliette by Princess Fleta. Uh, okay. Where are you going without me? I'm sorry. I was just trying to listen to the little creaks. Oh, a pumpkin charm. Nice. Okay, what about here? Burly dresses and pretty countesses by Sir Pumpkin the Third. Oh, okay. How to dance the waltz by Mr. Rabbit. Oh, nothing there. A boy's midnight journey by Henry de Heilige. Henry the Holy. Oh. A certain boy was known to have a problematic condition, one that would only affect him during the night. One that even the best doctors could not explain. Thought to be the work of the devil by many, it was said that the boy would wake up during the night and speak to the ones that had perished. Despite the various attempts to cure him of this curse, the boy kept on being disturbed by strange voices during the night. Everything from this page on is scratched out. Hmm... No one around him will ever know about this secret of his. Such a privilege belongs only to me, my dear. This is the only thing written in the back. Hmm. I wonder if that has to do with uh, the boy that was, like, doing the little play thing? I don't know, the art was kind of similar? Fancy an elegant white porcelain vase decorated with various roses. I wish I had the time to read all these books, but unfortunately, I'm a very busy person. Isn't that right, Egliette? Are you finished yet? Uh, yeah, I am. Let's go upstairs. Alright, let's go. Yidoki. Do to do and save. I feel like there's gonna be more games. I just don't want to get up there and be forced into a game and not have like a save point, you know? All right, and uh, save. Okie dokie. And upsy daisies. One more. I don't want to go there yet. Wait, I thought you said you wanted to go upstairs. I don't want to stay here any longer. Oh, okay. Well, then where do you want to go? Tall, colorful stained glass windows and grac stand graciously, casting an intense light shadow over the hall. Oh, a pumpkin charm. I still don't know what they're for, <laughs> but uh, it, it is what it is. What about this one? Oh, more pumpkin charms. Awesome. We're just racking up a collection. I don't want to go there yet. Okay, ma'am, where do you want to go then? Because you don't want to be here. You said you wanted to go upstairs. Okay, well then where do you want to go, girl? 
Please, make up your damn mind. What's your problem? Let's do something else? Okay, like what? My, my man. I was rooting for both of you. Okay, ma'am. Please. Are you ready now? Lady. I don't know what your problem is. But... You need to figure it out. What am I supposed to do? Holy shit. Fleta, please. You're being a bitch. A total bitch. What the... Okay, well, none of that worked. Maybe let's go all the way downstairs. We just got here. Ma'am, you, you don't want to be anywhere. I don't know what you want from me. I really don't. Oh, 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 okay. Well, I guess now she wants... Oh, wait, no. We gotta go up one more. Please, fl Okay, time out, time out. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, I guess I'm just dumb. She wanted to go, like, across the hall. I could have sworn she said upstairs, though. I don't know, man. This is actually my most special room. Really? Uh-huh. It's a magic room. It'll turn into anything you desire. All you have to do is ask. I see, that's amazing. <laughs> Let me show you. What color do you like best? I really like red. But I don't really like red. Never mind that. Just choose between pink and blue. Which do you like best? I like blue. Hmm. But I like pink better, so we're going with pink. Uh, why do you even give me a choice then, Flutter? Alright, now watch and learn. Good day! What would you like to see today, princess? I would like to see a pink room. Very well, you may step inside. Oh? With mirrors? Let's go! Alright. Oh, the dresses are pretty cute though. I don't really like this dress, it's too frilly. Uh, okay, picky much? Uh, what about this one? Oh. These are my three special mirrors. <gasps> special? Uh-huh. There's the mirror of prayer, then there's the mirror of truth, and then the mirror of judgment. What do they do? Just come with me. I'll show you. What do you have to say about this dress? This dress is my second favorite. What's your favorite dress? The one I'm wearing right now. Oh, I see. Alright, well then I guess that's everything. Uh, screw it, let's go in. Oh? This is the Mirror of Judgment. It judges whoever stands in front of it. That sounds scary. It's not scary, it's fun. Watch, I'll do it first since you're such a scaredy cat. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. I command you to tell me who's the fairest of them all. Certainly not you, princess. <gasps> what? How am I not the fierce of them all? You told me I was just yesterday. <clears throat> Are you trying to pick a fight with me? We'll see about that. Come on, it's your turn to be judged. <laughs> uh, oh no, I, I'm fine, Fleta. <clears throat> this is an order. Go and get judged by the mirror right this instant. I bet, um, the main character's the fairest. Mirror, I would like to ask you who's the fairest of them all. There's only one who can hold that title, miss. And that one person is you. Whoa, I knew it. I know, ugly head. Me, but I... That's enough. Oh my god, Fleta! Got what it deserved. <laughs> Let's just go on to the next one. Alright.
Dang, Flutter. Okay, let, let's calm it down a bit. This is the mirror of truth. It'll answer all your questions with nothing but the truth. Oh, I see. I go first. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, tell me who's the pinkest of them all. That is you, princess. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. It could have only been you, Fleta. Right. Now, you go. It's your turn. What should I ask? I don't know. It's your turn, not mine. Hmm. Who am I? Why won't Egliette talk to me? What is my name? Why- Oh man, these are awesome. Really good questions. E Oh my god, I don't know what to do because like if I'm trying to get on Flutter's good side, like should I say why won't Egliette talk to me? But I want to know why can't I remember my own name? Why can't I remember my own name? It is not a matter of remembering your name, it's a matter of finding it. What does that mean? It must mean your name is so ugly, no one will even pronounce it. Oh what? Can't you even take a joke? Come on, let's go to the next mirror. This is the mirror of prayer. I can make any wish come true. Really? Any wish? Uh-huh. Just watch. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Please make my mouth taste like candy forever. Very well, princess. Your desire is my command. That's <laughs> such an odd request. It worked. Now I can always taste my favorite candy. Can I really ask for anything? Of course. My mirrors can do anything. Then I want a pocket mirror. What? What would you want something like that for? You already have one. Your desire is my command. Acquire a pocket mirror. <laughs> Thank you, mirror. I don't get it. Why would you wish for another pocket mirror? I got it for you, Fleta. Here, you can take it. Oh. What? <laughs> you looked like you really wanted one, so I got you this. Why would I want something stupid like that? Just get rid of it or something, will you? I don't want you littering my home. But I... Let's go. Follow me. Dang, Flutter. What is your problem, girl? Took you long enough. Don't ever make me wait like this again. Sorry. What the hell? Like, I, I didn't even make you wait. Hmm. Okay. Check again. I wonder if I could have talked to the mirror again. If I if I at least thought to check, I don't know. Now let's run down and we shall sing. Okie dokie and bada bing and bada boom. All right up we go. Boom boom and should be one more. There we are. Oh, it's a purple room. I like it. This is my favorite room in the whole house. Honestly, it looks like mine too. I come here every night just to look at the stars and talk with Agliette. This room is beautiful, Fleta. Isn't it? Come, let's sit down and look at the stars. <laughs> yeah. Alright. This sofa is so comfortable. I could fall asleep here. I sleep here all the time. Sometimes I forget to bring a blanket when I take naps, so Egliette gets one for me. Egliette really does like you. Of course, and I love her just as much as she loves me. Don't you, Egliette? See? I wish I had a friend like her. Oh, but you do! You have me and Egliette. Isn't that enough for you? <laughs> oh no, that's not what I meant. Somehow I just feel lonely. I feel like I've been alone for a long time now and... 
I don't know why. Oh, I'm, just, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you, Fleta. Hmm. Well, I can assure you, you're not alone. You've never been alone, and you'll never have to be. Egliet and I have always been here for you, and always will be, right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> thank you, Fleta. Don't forget to thank Egliet, too. Oh, thank you, Egliet. <laughs> Good! Okay, uh... Oh, twinkling star. Actually, I've always wanted to ask you something. Huh? You have? What is it? In which floor of my dollhouse would you like to live? What? What do you mean? Well, since you're gonna live here with me from now on, we need to know where you'll be staying, right? <laughs> or maybe we can make a whole new floor just for you. What do you think, miss? But, uh... I don't know if I want to stay here. What then? Do you want to live on the second floor? That would be fine too. No, I mean, I can't stay in your dollhouse with you. Oh no, Flynn is upset. I have to go. Go where? I... I don't know exactly where, but... I have to know who I am. <laughs> Find out who you are? Flutta, I can't stay here with you. What do you mean you can't stay here with us? I'm not gonna let you go anywhere. Flutta. You've already found me. What else do you need? Or are you really going to leave me all alone again? What do you mean? Your place is here with me. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Now that that's settled, let's decide where you'll be staying. What do you think, Agliette? I don't need you telling me that. Uh... Okay. <gasps> oh, look, miss. A shooting star. <laughs> Quick, let's make a wish. Oh, no, I didn't have time to make all the wishes I wanted. What did you wish for, miss? Oh, I... It's a secret. Oh, come on. Don't be stingy. Just tell me. <laughs> but you're not supposed to tell. Hmm. Hmm, fine. Don't tell me if you don't want to. I'm getting tired of being here. Let's go play. Fleta, I... You're not going anywhere, miss. I've told you before. You're my friend. You belong to me and no one else. If you ever try to leave, you know what'll become of you, don't you? So let's go play! Answer me! Yes. Good, let's go. Okay, Flutter, damn! I think you need to take a chill pill, my, my friend. Okay, let's go down and save. Christ. Got a temper much? Go on, side. Bloop, bloop. Okay. Whoa. Alright, and saved. And then back up all the way to the tippy top. Do, do, ba, do, ba, do, boop. Boo, ba, do, ba, do, boo. And one. Oh! I forgot. We want to go across the hall. Can I look at these mirrors? Oh, there is stuff here. Alright. Tall, colorful stained glass windows stand graciously, casting an intense light. Very nice. Oh, creepy pumpkins. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's go out. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Here we are! This is my playground. It's where I keep all my toys. You have so many. Obviously. I'm a princess after all. Let's go play. Come on. Uh, okay. What's this doll? A rag doll lays on the floor with a gentle smile on her lips. Guess I can't interact with any of that. That. Nothing, nothing. What about this? 
No. Rocking horse? This is my rocking horse. Very nice. We're not drumsticks rest beside a small red snoop. A miniature train police station rests on the ground. The various carriages have been carefully polished. Uh, a trunk filled with a wide array of toys and dolls. Nice. What about the toy soldiers? Imposing Nutcracker soldiers stand by the bottom of the stairs. Their eyeballs roll insanely inside their sockets. Okay, there's the castle. A wooden sculpt dollhouse framed a big ticking cuckoo clock. Okie dokie. Man, I'm sad I can't interact with the little carousel merry-go-round. I like the little lights. Here they are. Aren't they cute? You have so many. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's play. Oh, but I don't know the rules. That's alright. Egliat will explain to you the rules. What does that matter? She can play it anyway. I can't hear what Egliat says. Oh, fine. I'll have to explain them to you myself since you're so dumb. All you have to do is catch the butterflies. The one who catches the most butterflies wins. Oh, I see. It sounds like fun. I'll go with the cage from the right. You go to the other cage so we can start. Okay. Are you ready? Alright, we gotta beat Floodhug. We gotta kick her ass, show her who's the boss. Oh. I'll go first. Okay. So it's turn based? Damn, you bitch. I got eight. Good job, Flutter. Good job. Is that all you have to say? How many can you catch anyway? You don't even stand a chance. I don't even know why I'm still playing with you. Well, but she doesn't need to know that, does she? Flutter. What do you want? Hurry up. It's your turn now. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Oh! I don't even see anymore. Are there- are there- is that it? Are there no more? Oh! You win! Huzzah! That was actually easier than I expected. I won! Oh, Fleta's pissed, dude. She is- Oh my god! Fletta, take it down a notch. Take a chill pill, girl. You're a cheater, that's what you are. But I'm a princess. I shouldn't let something like this bring me down. <laughs> I'll just pretend like you won. I'll let this one slide just for you, miss. But I did win. Sure you did. <laughs> if you want to prove to me you're not a lying cheater, then you have to win a hide-and-seek, fair and square. I... But I thought we were friends. And we are friends. I just don't like you very much. Oh, shush, Agliette. That has nothing to do with this. <laughs> anyway, let's play. <sighs> Answer me. Yes. I'll go first. You stay here and count to ten while I go hide. Uh. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm assuming I can go check on her now. I'm just looking at the room. Man, those poor little butterflies. I feel so bad for them. Um. Okay. Oh, what's this? Dear Diary, today my friend Claire, that worked in the kitchen, disappeared and no one will tell me where she is. I wonder if she's still playing hide-and-seek since yesterday. That would be terrible. She must be hungry. Too bad, because I wanted to invite her for a picnic tomorrow. Dear Diary, I wish I had a twin sister instead. That way we could play together every day. 
Today was really sunny, so I tried to play with Mother, but she spends too much time in her room and doesn't talk to me as much as she used to. I wonder if she's sad because Father is away. Dear Diary, I wish we didn't live away from town. I never have any girls to play with, and Brother spends too much time writing on his own. He won't let me read what he writes either. Maybe he would play with me if I were a boy. I hope Father brings me that very pretty doll he would buy on his trip. I think I'll call her Claire, just like my friend. Dear Diary, today my tutor felt ill during class. He had what Brother said was a heart attack. I wonder if he'll be alright because he wasn't moving very much after the doctor came to visit. I'm glad class ended early so I could go play in the garden, but it started raining so I had to stay inside. It was really boring so I decided to go into Mother's room because she isn't there anymore. I don't like Mother. Father brought me a very beautiful doll. Her name is Egliette, and we have been friends for a long time now. She likes the same tea and sweets as me. I'll never let my brother touch her. I'm sure he'll break her on purpose. Egliette doesn't like boys either because they're brutes. It's so obvious Father is a boy because he's going to the war again. I don't understand him. Being with Egliette is really fun. I never feel alone when I'm with her. She always tells me very pretty stories, too. My favorite story is about that time when Egliette had to choose the best dancers in the kingdom. She said they were very good dancers and were very e elegant. And the fox even had a red dress. Egliette said she would teach me how to dance tomorrow, too. I can't wait. I love Egliette. Today was a really bad day. I hated it because it was raining and the story Egliette told me was very stupid. It was about some witches and went to a f that went to a forest to pick up berries. That sounds so boring. I bet they tasted like dirt. I think they played with magic, but I don't care because I didn't like the story. It was so stupid I hated it. My favorite color is pink. Egliette likes pink very much, too. When my eyes turn pink, I'll play dress up with Egliette and we will only wear pink dresses. But I have to cut my hair because it's too long and I like it shorter. Whose diary is this? Obviously Fleta's. Alright, well, I need to go down and save. This is going to be a long episode. Just because things happen to work out that way. Uh. Okay. Alright, nothing there. This way. No. Alright, we'll go down one more so that we can save, and then I'm probably gonna end the video there unless we, like, suddenly... Oh, wait, no. There's one more floor after this. Crap. Uh, Pumpkin, you know anything? Oh, you don't want to talk to me? That's fine, that's fine. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anyone here either. Um... Do, do, do. Nothing. And down one more. Now we can save. Alright, I am gonna save and we are going to end the episode here. If you guys are enjoying, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Uh, I upload every weekday at 12 p.m. Central. And yeah, I really hope to see you guys in the next video. So until then, bye bye. <laughs>